Hello, everyone, and welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In this part, I cannot listen to this song without thinking of Octodad. Oh yeah, no, they're definitely yeah. they're definitely <laughs> going for that like Beach Boys, yeah, uh, six sixties ish guitar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'll say sixties. Yeah. The, that's. I mean, granted, that's a music direction that they went within the show relatively frequently as well. Although. Yeah, it's just it's just a particular sting of the guitar going like did it, did it, did it. Yeah, specifically any time the focus was Goo Lagoon, the yeah. beach area and all that. Although this game does something annoying with the music that I hate when any game does is where they have it fade out and come back in. Oh, uh, they don't have it loop. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> that was really common in, in early PS1 days and in PC games because of the CD audio and them not having a way to make that loop efficiently. You'd so have to just be because there's there would be a slight loading when they were reloading the song is what I would imagine, right? So. Well, because the the track had to have a beginning, and therefore it couldn't loop back in on that beginning. It had to be, um, it, it had to fade out so that it could start over. The beginning wasn't made to sound organic when it when it tied to the end, but. Um, a lot of the time. Um, oh. I just noticed the sponge gar. <laughs> I like how you sink wall. straight through the platform directly below you. Um, like, because there's water goop stuff there, it, 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 it's no longer solid matter. Maybe it's some strange chemical that renders solid objects incorporeal. Do you think that might be the case? No. No. Oh. I was so proud of that theory, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shut up, Matt Pat. In any case, um, what was I saying before I got distracted? Uh, <laughs> uh, something about Harry Potter? <laughs> no, that was well, that, 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 I was going to say, that could, be, that could be many parts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so I have actually looked at the, uh, the, the Xbox version of the game, and yeah, it, it, it is definitely brighter. Yeah. Uh, compared to the PS2 and GameCube versions, and there apparently there are some added, added graphical effects that the other two don't have. So in in many ways, the Xbox version, is, yeah, is just the better version of the game. Yeah. But I mean, you're also playing with the Duke, so. You don't have to play with the Duke. Yeah, but you're gonna be playing with the Duke, though. No, you don't. Because who's gonna buy? A, who's? I got the Duke out of novelty Dude, <laughs> because the Xbox X control, they, the S controller is just much they, better. They, 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 the complaints about the Duke were a very early thing in the Xbox's lifespan. They replaced that controller quick. Uh, yeah. So most. Although Ted, if you ever were to play a game on the Xbox, I'd demand that you use the Duke and you have a cam controller. Oh. Well, what would happen? What would happen? Controller if, cam, sorry. What would happen if Ted actually played an Xbox an, on an actual Xbox? Because you know he bursts into flames whenever he touches the PlayStation. And he has to wear protective gloves for that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably get really bad heart wound. Uh, maybe. Um, Do you already break out in the hives when you have to play a game on the PC? Uh, no, because I'm using my PC normally. Like I, I use that. No, that's playing games. Playing games specifically. I don't know. I don't pay attention to those sorts of things. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Why do you guys always have to make assumptions about me and my life? You don't know what I've been through. Except for what I've been through for like the past however many years I've been part of Brinscratch. You know, this channel's turning 10 next year. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but we, got, we got a pretty good assumption on what you go through. Uh, I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, I don't, I just, there's a lot of parts of Goo Lagoon that I find are a little, I don't know, samey. Like, I guess the, there's, I don't know, it's hard for me to explain what about this level I just kind of find a little boring. But For I some reason, PlayStation 2 cave areas and platformers all look the same to me. Yeah, it's basically. It's always wood planks and the same sort of rock texture for everything. This looks like it could be just a slightly brighter version of the same level from Jack and Daxter 1. To He's me. not wrong. Oh, well, this this <laughs> upcoming section here, I think, is uh, is a lot better. This is the the part where they actually have, like, the, the, the pier, so they have all the different, like, carnival different kind of games and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, it, this looks much more interesting. Yeah, uh, so, like, there's all sorts of different mini-games. And things here too, so that that's a lot more fun. I do agree. Uh, why? Okay, you're gonna trust Patrick 
instead of me. All right. Uh, to, to be fair, would you trust SpongeBob either? <laughs> I trust him before I trust Patrick. Well, well, let me put it this way. Patrick would fuck up. SpongeBob would fuck shit up. There's just, there's two. They sound alike, but there's two completely different kinds of disaster there. You see, you say that, but the mandatory part of this section here and how you have to win involves you actually destroying this part of the pier, <laughs> Patrick, because you were supposed to. You're supposed to hit that, and that causes the entire pier <laughs> to break. Oh, well, that's what we call irony. Hey, but we fixed uh, the, the Ferris wheel. <laughs> that's that's something, right? It's functioning. We'll just have to load people on from the top instead of the bottom. Yeah, you can just chuck people on top of on top of it. That'll work, right? Not exactly what I had in mind. Oh, it's Mr. Krabs, no. <laughs> you think insurance just... is going to help you? Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, dangerous. I need them crazy robots yeah, so Mr. Krabs is a cheap bitch, which I suppose makes sense. So he's going to make oh. us do two things instead of one. That's why this place was made of styrofoam. Mm. Yeah, basically. <sighs> Yeah, but there's all sorts of different mini games you can uh, that you can play in here. So uh, like, the this the, isn't Dragon Shores though. <laughs> the the, um, the merry-go-round is that supposed to be the Loch Ness monster or something? Uh, on the the Ferris wheel, yeah. I think they're they're supposed to be like little <laughs> Nessie type. Merry go round. <laughs> yeah, it. The, I mean, it does go round, and you are theoretically supposed to be merry when you play it. So, eh. unfortunately, it costs about tree fifty to ride it. So I also okay. So I think that the game wants you to throw the watermelon. The, the watermelon to win this, but you just can do just do this. And again, if we're talking about ways that this game is programmed, strangely, uh, those tiki's are just hidden underneath the the ground uh, underneath the ground here. So well, that, you, that, that's a that's a common thing games do. No, but the thing is, is that if you break them, even while the game's not going, you'll still get the prize for winning. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's just it's just funny. Okay, I, I also instinctively oh, went... Teacups. I instinctively went to that porta potty because in the movie game that's how you change your characters. So I went in there being like, okay, I can switch to Spongebob, but it's like, no. No, I, y you can't. Why it, didn't you go into the teacups and then spin it obnoxiously fast for everyone involved? Because... Um, because uh, there's no handle to do it. Also, uh, Patrick doesn't have fingers, so... That didn't stop the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> do they ever bring up how the Powerpuff Girls... Yeah. Oh, okay. When? There's an, epi there's an episode where um, they swap eyes with the professor, Miss Bellman, the mayor, and Buttercup goes to pick up the f phone, but she can't because she doesn't know how fingers work. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see, I never... That was a show I didn't really watch all that much either. I remember two... Uh, I remember one episode of the Powerpuff Girls and one random scene from a different episode. Uh, the one episode I remember is when they went to live in the town of Cityville instead of the city of Townsville. I Nobody lives in the town of Cityville. I remember that one, and I, and I remember the one scene of the mayor playing Zelda and trying to kill the fairy. But that's literally, I actually do remember that from growing up, like not just from it being on Twitter or YouTube or whatever. But other than that, that whole show is just a giant blank for me. I don't remember it at all. That's a shame because it was genuinely very good. Yeah, um, there were a lot of shows that I don't think I really gave a lot of attention that were really good from that from that era um like the powerpuff girls was was one um i mean i don't know i think i just i found a lot of the shows that came out of there i never really watched too many of the shows that came out of at that time or if i did i just didn't pay that much uh i only watched them because there was literally nothing else on like for example um fairy odd parents i've all i've actually never really been a huge fan a fairy odd parents and i only ever watched that show if there was literally no other choice you know um which i mean 
which was frustrating because they tried to push that show a lot more than they even tried to push SpongeBob, I found. You know? Or am I just misremembering stuff? They pushed them about the same. Okay, because I remember... Also, high, high Skybox. Uh, yeah, the, the, it's like that for this whole area. I have no idea why. Like, you can see in the corners where there's the brighter blue and then there's the yeah. the the slightly darker shade. Like, I have no idea what's causing that or whatever. It just is. It's it's kind of like the skybox is turning with you. It That honestly might be how they're making the effect. I'm really not sure, though. There's, like, a scrolling color but it's independent of the other textures. It's weird. Yeah, that's it, it honestly just might be how they how they're doing it. But yeah, now we got to get the bumper boats with ice. I physics. love bumper cars. So crunchy. Although I don't know how they have ice without everything else in this water also freezing, but whatever. We're we're, we're not going to think about it that hard. Wait, no, Ted, go in the, go in the, go in the, 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 there we go. Am I living in a box? <laughs> I'm, no, you live under a rock. <laughs> Talk about a beach bump. Ah, I get it. I thought he was a star. He, he uh. can also have a, he can also have a bum, I don't know. You see, okay, okay, so... Well, he does have an ass, yeah. So, that's actually, if we're talking about, uh, if we're talking about jokes that you're not going to get when you're a kid, uh, Patrick being dumb is actually one that I, that I really enjoy now that I'm old enough to get it, because... Yeah, he lives under a rock. <laughs> well, th there's that, well, literally living under a rock is one, but Starfish, just in terms of, um, in terms of, like... Gen not genetically, but uh, biologically speaking, starfish, I think, are probably the closest thing. L they're like the, the absolute minimum to be considered an animal as opposed to a plant. Like, they're, biologically speaking, they're probably the simplest living organisms alive on the planet, you know? So, they, it's like, okay, so that means... Like, I think that they don't even technically have a real brain. They might only have, like something resembling a brain stem. That's me talking completely out of my ass, though. I could be 100% wrong about this. But the point is is that, okay, they actually did have... So uh, close. They they took that aspect of Starfish and made it part of the character I just thought was funny, you know? Also, damn, that's a, a freezy fruit. These were always my least favorite part. Um... Oh yeah, I'm waiting here for it well, to you, wear you, off. Yeah, you, you probably could make it if you really hoofed it, but this is yeah. easier. Yeah, but I'm not. So I think if you double jumped the last microsecond, you would have been able to make it. Yeah, but it, it's it's faster to wait, which is you know a bit of an oxymoron, but it it works. It's true. Good job. Yeah. So one of my favorite things about this game, though, is is that you can just uh, game. Yeah, you can just warp to wherever you want to go after you're, um, after you're done. So, if you know which, uh, well, I mean, it's not even just a matter of knowing which places take you where, but it's just, okay, I could, d I think the only other way out of there is to kill yourself, but instead I can just warp myself over here and it just feels better. You know? I, the, the warping feature I've really grown to appreciate in games, especially, uh, games like these where exploration is key because backtracking with the... I, I don't mind backtracking when there's something new to explore and I feel like I'm re-exploring the area again. I having don't like backtracking when I feel like I'm just walking back to where I'm going, you know? Ha having a quick travel function in a lot of games does tend to make things easier to, easier to parse. Um... Although, in my case, I quickly discovered that relying on it too readily can be a bit of a, uh, can be a, bit of a, a problem. Um, because, and this is a different genre of game, uh, obviously, but in Oblivion, one of the things you can do at the very start is just ignore the town and the dungeon and, the, um, and everything around the opening area and just quick travel to the first town 
where the plot is supposed to happen. Well, you can in that game you can quick travel to places you haven't been before. Um, you can quick travel to the major towns that are already marked on your map from the start. You can't quick travel to places in between those towns that you haven't been to, though. Okay, uh, you see that's that's, that's, that's a little a, that's, unorthodox. It's, it, for that kind yeah, of thing. it's 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 um it's unorthodox. It's also a problem because by quick traveling from one town to the next, you're skipping the travel there that would have revealed more places to quick travel to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really funny. Um, not a good kind of funny, though. But Oblivion yeah. was not the best designed game in the world. It's okay; they have a mod for that. <laughs>